In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Excalibur market and how to find the markers. So guys, here we are right now on how to find the markers. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Excalibur marker in today's video right now, guys. This one's not the most, well, it, it's going to be pretty difficult to get this one, guys. And because it is actually a extreme marker, it's not a markerous one. So I guess, guys, it's not really the hardest in the world. However, guys, still, it is quite 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 a difficult one i guess um it does take a little while a little bit amount of time so you're going to be here for a while guys make sure you watch all the way up until the end to know exactly how you guys can get your hands on this marker so pretty much guys all i'm going to do first of all is this first of all of course i want to turn on my sprint and i'm just going to use this um thing to just jump up here i guess guys it will help out a little bit anyway guys so next what i'm going to do here is just go all the way around the outside of this i tell you what guys i can barely see where i'm going right now it's so so dark I think I'm, yeah, right up here. Right, here it is. Um, next, guys, once you've done that, simply follow me. So all I'm going to do next is just jump up here. And, right, you know what, guys? I can literally not see a thing. I'm going to have to turn up my brightness over here, guys, because literally I it's just pitch black for me, guys. So pretty much, anyway, once you're here, follow me, guys. So all you're going to do is just go um, actually down here, guys. So jump down there. And then instead, what you need to do is just go in here, guys, to so jump in there. There it is. Okay, so now that I've done this, you guys are going to have a blue sword. Pick this up. Once you guys have picked this up, guys, it's going to go in and set yourself a checkpoint. And then follow me, guys. We're just going to go straight forwards just over here, guys. And essentially, what we need to do right now is kind of complete this parkour, I'm pretty sure. Um, but pretty much, guys, next, we want to go off into the orange one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do this. Just be careful, guys, on this because, of course, you do not want to fall off. Then, guys, once we hit the orange one, um, I'm just going to jump up here. And then, guys, now we want to go here to the perp. Um, what's this? The bleed door. So, essentially, guys, what we need to do is pretty much get all the swords for the correspondent doors. And, essentially, if we do this, then we'll eventually get the Excalibur marker. Simply pull the sword, though, guys. What that's going to do is going to bring you guys up here. And then now you can kind of complete the rest of this. Um, so, pretty much, guys, here it is. All we're going to do next is go across here. Hopefully, we're not going to fall off, guys. Should we pull this sword? I think we do need to. Um, right, okay, that's going to allow us to get up here and then over there. I'm going to guess, guys, probably need to pull this sword again. And then that's going to hopefully let us get up there, guys. We're going to have to try this again, though, because to be fair, I kind of messed that up, to be honest. Um, right, I keep on jumping off too early. Can I? No, I can't do this. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Um, right, anyway, guys, here we are back at the blue door. Okay, so I'm going to have to try this all again. Um, yeah, definitely, though, I'm kind of jumping off that a bit too early, guys. But to be fair, right, how did I touch the lava there? I have no clue. But yeah, guys, to be fair, this does not seem the... Um, like, thinking about it now, maybe the parkour and stuff gets a bit harder on some of the levels, guys. But honestly, it doesn't really seem too difficult at most to go ahead and complete. Here we go, guys. Let's pull this one off. Um, I'm pretty much, guys... Yeah, so I think what I was doing earlier, I was kind of going a bit too early... So yeah, we have a, a bit, little bit of a time at the start, of course, guys. Anyway, next, all I'm going to do here is just jump up there and up here. Then, guys, you have a sword to pull. What that's now going to do, it's going to drop down this. So pretty much, guys, when that drops down, we need, need we need to just go for it, guys. So here it is. We're going to jump off, and there it goes. I'll tell you what, guys, this is quite a cool marker. Definitely quite a, quite a nice one over here. What, um, Right, yeah. Then we're going to pull this one. Let's see what happens when we pull this. Okay. Right, so for this, guys, you're going to be have to, um, well, you're going to have to kind of rush quite quickly. As you guys can see there, there is the green sword, so that's what we need to get next. So, pretty much, guys, um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wait for this to come out. And, of course, guys, we will want to do this as quick as possible, because we do not want to fall off over here. Okay, guys, so there is the green sword. Um, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is this. I'm going to jump off there. There it is, guys. So, we've got the green sword right now. All we need to do next... I guess, guys, is just jump up over there. It's going to be a bit of a shortcut, guys. You do not need to do um, do it all backwards. Just keep that in mind. So here it is, guys. So we're back. Okay, so here we are, guys. We've got the green sword. Essentially, all we need to do next is simply go to the one, well, to the green sword side. So that should not take us too long at all. How am I supposed to get up here? I'm not too sure. That's probably how. So let's just jump across here guys if i fall off on this bit it's gonna be so annoying here it is guys so yeah for the excalibur market essentially all you need to do really the mission is to i don't know what happened there the mission is pretty much to get all the swords so here it is guys let's pull this sword let's see what happens here i'm gonna guess probably have to jump up here yes i'm right yep let's pull this one let's see what's happening here here it goes we're gonna have to jump up there then we're gonna have to hmm right 
Turns out we're going to jump across here, guys. Definitely, I recommend a put on sprint. It's going to help you guys out a ton. Let's see what this one's all about, though, guys. It's going to bring us up probably here. Then, what we need to do next is just climb up this one. And we will pull this one right now. Here it is. Okay, so that's going to... Right, I'm going to probably wait... Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a bit for that, guys. I recommend. Well, this is what I personally do. I kind of pull the swords first, to know exactly what they want us to want me to do, and then after that, guys, I kind of just um do it again once I know what happens when you pull the sword. Oh, guys, let's pull this sword. It's gonna bring us up here. I'm guessing. Yep, it is. And now, guys, you have the red. So pretty much now that you've got the red one, it's not gonna be too much of an issue to get back. And what we need to do next, guys. Have is of course places on the red door good thing is guys the red door is literally just back here so that's not going to take us long at all yeah the thing is guys the excalibur market it's not really i would say a challenging market guys but it's more of a one that's a bit time consuming so i wonder what this does guys i'm honestly not sure but should we just go i think we should i'm pretty sure i saw some writing up there guys right what does this say this could be useful um right never mind guys that's just telling us what the room is by and um, beer guys i'm not really too sure what the red thing done there um let's pull this down let's see what this does guys yeah okay so you need to be quick there guys um i'm pretty much okay so essentially the red one it if you pull it i'm gonna have to go back to the store guys um so yeah what we need to do guys for this is pretty much pull the red one and we need to do this in time before it does of course stop so let's pull this one guys we need to be quick about this too so here it is let's jump up here up here up here and then yep we need to go in here guys so yeah essentially you need to be quick for the red one if not you're not gonna have enough time here it is guys let's pull this one let's go back up here and then we're gonna jump off here guys and we're gonna continue our journey right now so pretty much um yeah what are we supposed to do for this should i just test this out that seems awfully strange hmm you know what i'm gonna just go for it i guess yeah it's definitely not how we do it i wonder right one second guys let me try and figure this out i want to get back to that stage guys and i'll meet you back once i went ahead and figured that one out because i'm not gonna lie guys that is kind of strange so yeah, i'll meet you all once i'm back there guys ready for that bit okay guys so essentially what we need to do here is just wait for this to go out i'm going to use that to jump across here yeah i could probably have guessed that guys but here it is we've got we've got it we've done it now so for this next one guys what we need to do here is just right probably if i let it actually go up that'll be a help um anyway guys what we're gonna do is let this one drop down here it is let's drop down here and now guys right, i'm gonna pick up the pink sword but i'm not too sure here exactly what this sword does so here it is um right i'm just gonna use that now um let's just use this one to get up here come on game um yeah so we're gonna kind of have to race against the clock over here i'm guessing guys right come on i'm probably not gonna be able to do this now because i've spent about five times trying to attempt that okay anyway here we are guys up here right now let's pull this sword come on game let's do this um and now yep what we need to do here is pull this one and i was literally just there guys that's so annoying so yeah, if we didn't have to have to like i do i guess do like 10 attempts of that annoying thing at the end there guys we would have been able to do that we we're literally so so close but yeah guys let's try this again come on okay i'll tell you what guys this this what this one over here is honestly annoying me so much finally guys okay so we managed to get there took its time but we got there in the end um right let's try this one guys so what that's gonna do here it's gonna allow us to get up here and then let's pull this out here we are guys okay we managed to get past that took a while guys but we are here now and um, pretty much yeah we've got the pink sword this time so we need to go across there to the pink area i'm pretty sure guys we need to go back around here to get to the pink one so we're gonna do that right now yeah so we need to definitely go through here to get to the pink so let's jump up here guys and then over here and now guys we have the pink one unlocked let's go and unlock this right now guys hopefully this one's not as hard as the red one um right let's try this so essentially guys for this one you kind of need to jump off before of course it does fall down anyway guys next i'm gonna pull this sword let's see what this does okay so that that allows us to get up there let's go ahead and try this again guys hopefully this time i can make it yes i have right okay guys so next what we need to do is go down here i'm gonna pull this sword here it is that's gonna allow us to get up here then next guys just watch out do not touch the sides because if you guys do that's gonna be an annoying death um and after that guys we're gonna jump up here and then okay that was kind of close but let's try this again guys hopefully i'm not gonna fail it this time um okay let's do this but yeah guys definitely them other ones you need to kind of jump off as they're going down because if not you're probably not gonna make it 
at least now guys that i know what i'm doing this should not take as long as previously um before um so yeah guys let's pull this sword here it goes we're gonna jump across here we're gonna go through here and if it touches guys it's gonna be so annoying anyway guys so here we are pretty much we need to jump off before of course it starts falling then for this what we need to do here is just jump off turn around do that after that guys we're gonna have to jump off down here I'll tell you what guys i'm surprised i've not fallen off yet but here we are guys um right and then what we need to do next jump off here and we're gonna climb up there after that guys what we need to do here is just do like a little wall jump around and then now i'm gonna aim to jump off here yes we've made it which is brilliant let's quickly do this here it is now what we need to do is just jump up here and finally guys we have the blue sword or something like that to be fair i probably should have looked at the name there and um, yeah guys we've got some sort of blue sword right now i'm pretty sure guys we can just die i think that'll be fine guys right never mind okay so it sets us back at this checkpoint right never mind guys we can't just die that makes sense i guess right that's probably why the ladders are down there too um okay that definitely does work right and then all we really need to do next guys just go back down here i'm gonna wait i probably could have got that there but i'm just gonna wait to be safe of course because i don't really want to be going back and forwards all of the time so here it is guys let's jump across here and then of course jump across here and here we are guys back again so yeah i'm pretty sure this was the blue one guys i don't think that it was i don't think there's any like other blue colors so yeah guys let's unlock the sign do i tell you what that's bright here we are guys so in the cyan bit this is gonna now allow us to get up here and i think we need to pull that so yeah, guys you kind of need to do two and one over there guys so just be careful about that um right come on let's get up here i tell you what guys this is definitely white nerve wracking here it is okay so we managed to get that there orange short already okay that's kind of crazy guys that was kind of quick if i'm being honest but yeah guys it looks like we must get up this way guys to get this next one because any other way i don't think we can do okay here we are guys that orange one honestly got that in an instant that was really really easy problem is though guys how can we get to the orange place i think we need to go all the way around there yeah so i think we need to go back around here guys to go in and get to the orange one i wonder how many doors how many doors are left maybe two i think guys the orange one and the yellow one i think that's the only two remaining which is of course really really nice guys we are nearly done so here it is guys the orange door i tell you what guys though the blue one seemed awfully too easy maybe i was just lucky there to get it done first try okay so for this right okay so essentially guys we kind of need to make it like a step system so that's what i'm going to do right now guys i think that's okay so yeah guys one two three four five six okay so one two three four five essentially guys what we need to do is create a sort of step system so one two three um four here it is let's do this one one two three one two three there it is guys then we're gonna go across here and then one two next we're gonna go across here guys and then one and now guys i think that's good so pretty much all i'm going to do is just jump up here and essentially guys all we need to do right now is just jump up and go around the outside this doesn't seem to be too difficult or yeah uh, okay two easy doors in a row guys i'll definitely take those okay so we've got the yellow door next the problem is about this one i think we need to go all the way around well not really all the way but i guess guys we'll just cut across over here to the green one and then of course we'll go from there so pretty much guys here it is we got this one right now we're going to go to the yellow door at the moment and then we're going to unlock this here it is okay so now that i've done this guys all we need to do next i think it's just the final stage of this parkour right now and hope, hopefully get the excalibur marker so let's continue guys and of course try not to fall down because if we do that's not gonna end well right okay yeah yeah it's not ended well has it guys i mean at least kind of like it's a checkpoint stage where if we fall down we don't die straight away but i guess guys at the end of the day well i kind of forgot how well what was the best method of doing this guys i'm pretty sure yeah i just jump off there guys and then do that yeah i think that's how you do it so yeah, here it is we're gonna jump off here yeah definitely that's how you guys do it anyway we're gonna pull this sword it's gonna allow us to get up to this bit and here is the excalibur marker honestly guys right one second apparently not my sword um let's do some question marks give me my sword of course guys we need to get the white sword and now guys hopefully we will um be able to do this right apparently guys not i'm not too sure here why but i think um 
I think what we need to do over here, guys, once we have the white sword, is pretty much this. We need to go out, guys, and pretty much do this, guys. So pretty much, once you've got the white sword, follow me. I'm going to be telling you guys what to do here. All you guys need to do right now is pretty much go back around here. And you guys can see right there, there's the white sword area. So what we need to do here is use that white sword on that bit. And then, guys, we'll get the Excalibur marker. I actually didn't really see that when I first came down, but of course, it's kind of behind the door. So here it is, guys, the white sword. Let's use this on this one right now and hopefully guys we'll get the excalibur marker so pretty much let's unlock this door and here is the sword we're gonna finally guys pull out the massive sword over here i tell you what this is probably going to take longer than some stages that we completed over here guys it's kind of crazy how long this takes we essentially need to pull it up from the rock over here guys i tell you what though this has definitely been a really really cool marker to going to get Probably one of the better made markers in the game, guys. Definitely quite a nice one over here. They have definitely stepped up the quality of these updates recently, guys. I'll tell you that. However, let's just wait for this marker to eventually be pulled out from the ground. And finally, guys, here it is. We have done it. So now that that's happened, all we're going to do next is simply this. We got the sword with us. It's following us, guys. And now all we're going to do is just go back to the Excalibur marker himself. And we're going to give him the sword. So let's just go around here and this is not going to take us too much more longer here it is guys let's go around here to the door and we're going to continue um and go back up here guys so here it is let's jump up here right now and then we'll go across here we'll do this here it is to be fair let me just probably jump on there guys instead but why did i do that i've got no clue watch me just not be able to do this right yeah i'm definitely not going to be able to do this anymore <laughs> am i guys i'm probably i've used up all of my i guess skill um, just before but here it is guys finally so pretty much now we can finally get the excalibur marker there it is guys a little bit and what i wouldn't say it was difficult guys but it was a bit time consuming that's gonna be it for this video here though like and subscribe for more